This might look like an ordinary house, but inside, an extraordinary dating experiment is about to take place. In a specially constructed light-sealed room... Where are you? Three single men... No! ..and three single women... I feel a bit nervous. ..will meet in complete darkness. Hello? Hi. They can't see anything. I think it's just better if we touch. But using state-of-the-art infrared cameras, <laughs> we can see everything. Maybe you just get me hot. That's not something that I'd try and do on a first date. Oh. They're all looking for love. He's exactly what I'm looking for. But will they find it when the lights are turned on? She did look a little bit older than I thought. Will they meet the partner of their dreams? I think we definitely have an intellectual connection. Can they find true love based on personality alone? Wow. I had in my head supermodel. Is love really blind? This is a man of my dreams. Oh, I'm so confused. These people are about to find out by Dating in the Dark. My name is Terry, I'm 31 and I'm a marketing consultant. The fact that I'm single I don't necessarily think is because there's something wrong with me. I get along with people very easily, but moving on into the um, relationship part, not so good. I guess I've spent the last 10 years of my life um, building a career and travelling and it's about time I settle down and include someone else in my life. Wow, I could definitely get used to this. My name's Michelle, I'm 31 years old, I'm a retail merchandiser and I have a son named Brayden. I've had fun with all my ex-boyfriends. It's time to start looking for something serious. My type of guy would be, they've all been dark haired, very Aussie, very bogan. I'm hoping to find someone my own age who is ready to settle down with me and my son. Hi Michelle, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name is Sherry, I'm 27, and I work as a physiotherapist. I don't enjoy dating. I find it very contrived, and when people try to set me up, generally it's just a no-no. I've only been on two dates in the last one and a half years. I don't have a filter between my brain and my mouth, what I think I say. <laughs> I'm quite excited to come and meet someone different and maybe find the man of my dreams. Cheers. Cheers. My name's Grant, I'm 29, and I'm a technical manager. I don't really get out a great deal, and I don't meet a lot of women. Um, I do like computers, it's, I work on them, and even after work I do enjoy spending some time on them. Characteristics I look for in a girl, she's got to be family orientated, someone that I want to spend you know, the rest of my life with. Oh, nice for you. My name's Nathan, I'm 26, and I'm a contract manager with a government department. I would describe myself as a passionate person with spiritual perspective on life. I want to meet someone special. I'd like for them to have a bigger worldview, have empathy with people. I like to give all of myself to the person, be very emotionally available. Hey, Steph. Great. Hey. My name's Derek, I'm 31, and I'm a retail sales manager. There's Derek, the workaholic, and then there's Desi who comes out and loves to have fun and party and everyone wants to be around Desi. I was with my last girlfriend for six and a half years. She was my best friend, my soulmate. I feel I'm ready for a new relationship. You, you don't get given a big heart for no reason. Derek, mate. Nathan. Nathan, good to meet you, mate. Grant. Grant, good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good morning, girls. Hi. Welcome to your new home. Thank you. Now, hopefully this place fulfills all your romantic expectations because, as you know, the real reason that you're here is to hopefully find love. Now, at this point, you're probably wondering where all the boys are. They're actually in a room downstairs and that's where they're going to stay. So the only chance that you'll get to meet with them will be in the pitch black in the dark room where we'll get to answer the age-old question, is true love really blind? For your first date, we're going to send you in as a group. So good luck and have fun. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. going into the dark room for the first time. I'm a little bit nervous. I think I'm more nervous about banging into things rather than actually meeting the guys. Oh my God. Is there anybody in here? Oh my God, this is unbelievable. I can't go off me. I was very confronted by how really dark it was. It sounds stupid, but um, how dark it really was. Wait, where are you? Yeah. <laughs> Found a seat. Okay. Oh, it's just like you're blind to the world. It's awesome. 
Walking in the dark room, I've never sweated in my hands. Like, it was like I was going to jump off a cliff. Hello. Hi. 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 Hey, how are you going? Well, who's going to hit the table first? <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> okay, dude. Oh, you smell chair. very nice. I could smell aftershave walking towards me as soon as the door opened. Okay, okay. starting on your left hand corner. Nathan. Right. That's me, I'm Nathan. 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 I'm Derek in the middle. Derek. And I'm Grant on the end. Grant. 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 Right. I'm Michelle. I'm Sherry. And I'm Terry. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like I'm in a job interview. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are you guys? Been single a long time? Is look, what are you looking for? Or? Uh, I've been single for pro just on about nine months, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, I don't want to scare anyone off, but I am looking for you know potentially with a future of family and kids. That's that's who I am. That's what I'm about. Yeah. I dirt bike ride. I road bike ride. If I'm a bit of an outdoorsy sort of guy. Beautiful. Grant came across as kind of like me. He's an outdoor person, which I like. I'm pretty much Aussie chick. Like, got my own dirt bike. AFL is one of my biggest, I love AFL football. Aussie rules, um, I think it's a common ground we both share. And I like to drink beer. I think she'd be great for beer and, and, and to hang out with and she likes the outdoors and... I just want to meet someone special. I, you know, I've, I've been single now uh, just over 12 months. Did it end well? No. Yeah. No. I lost my <laughs> best mate. That, that, that was the worst thing. Derek sounds like he would be a good match for me. I'm very social, I've got a big network of friends. You know, I love the beach and I love the weather and I'd like to, you know, start a family and a relationship and stuff, so. I think she's the dark horse in the room. I think she's looking to settle down a bit more. That attracts me to her also. Love the races. Nothing beats dressing up in a suit and going down the races for the day. I might interject. I have a I have a thing about horse racing. I think it's cruel and I Really? Condo oh, yeah. I don't condone it, yeah. to me. Um, I don't have an extensive dating history. I've had two boyfriends, one in South Africa. Straight off the bat, South African accent, you know, on girls just, just drives me wild. I've been a permanent resident since I moved here and I'm just too very, I was going to say a bad word there, lazy to get my citizenship. My whole family's got it yet, but it's a mission, so I've just ignored it. But I love Australia. Um, I used to play, oh, this is going to be, everyone's going to laugh. I used to play soccer that I'm injured. <laughs> so it kind of broke my heart that I can play soccer this year. Sherry, she did a lot of talking. Australia, because I've always wanted to play soccer and there's no girls soccer in South Africa. She's just a bit of a weird one. Like literally there, actually my cat in South Africa. I, I don't even know what she talked about really. Like, she just talked. I came here after I studied, so yeah, I'm very passionate. Can I just ask something? Yes. Can we get Nathan to talk about Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We need a turn yeah. off button for you, Sherry. <laughs> I get told that all the time. What are we talking about? Interest. It's so funny, my one, this one guy. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh, she's still on stopping. Oh, sorry. Yeah, what do you like Okay, to? yeah, so, um, you know, I really enjoy uh, the outdoors. You uh, sound like my cousin. That's weird. I'm freaked out. <laughs> Nathan, are you Jewish? Um, I am kind of, actually. <laughs> My mum's side of the family are like German Jews. Then so you're Jewish. Yeah, yeah. Okay, can I talk? No, I'm joking. <laughs> There's only 11 million Jewish people in the world. Find another one in the dark room is, <laughs> is, is a bit profound. Lovely to meet you all. Yes, yeah, so, can, can you just hold on? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go straight around past me and then back that way. See you guys. See, See ya. Bye-bye. I think you definitely had a connection with that, uh, the one in the middle, Sherry. She might as well had another dinosaur shirt on over the outside. <laughs> Nathan was really cute. He he was clearly the most compatible for me. Terry was down to earth. She had the horse racing thing going on. Oh, I quite like Derek. He sounds like he'll be some fun. Michelle was also the other good one. She, uh, you know, she loves the outdoor sports and, and, and going to the pub and having a beer. And... So, who are you going? I don't know. With Michelle. Michelle said that she was looking for something long term, so. I want to know what they feel like now. Like what they feel, feel like. emotionally or what they feel no, like? No, what they feel like. feel like. Your dates are going to be a lot more entertaining than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up. No, I'm joking. <laughs> the girls get their hands full in the first round of individual dates. Oh my god! And the boys get their hands full too. Contestants starting to get a clearer picture of who might be their perfect partner. To Grant. Invites were sent for the first one-on-one -on -one dates. First up, Derek invited Michelle. 
I was very surprised Derek invited me on his first day. We have a lot of interests in common, but I thought that we didn't really have a chemistry in the group date. If a mate was going to set me up, I think it would be with a girl like Michelle. Hey, how you going? Good, how are you? Give me two seconds. I to took shut. beer and I took in gold donuts. You can't beat that. Awesome. Perfect. So All you're, I need is a football and the cricket. You're privileged. And then I feel privileged. So um, tell um, me all about yourself. I love dirt bike riding, mm -hmm. fishing. I'll try anything once. Yeah. So um, I am a big family person. Yeah, so. Um, I have an eight year old son. Oh, wow. Yes. So um, very big on finding someone who. I think likes um, it shocked me a little bit. Being in that day with Michelle changed perspective slightly on what I'm looking for in a woman. Um, I'm at the stage in my life now where that's what I want. I've done my partying. <laughs> like I still, me and my best friend. Have... She's looking for more of a father figure, I think, to, to help her moving forward. I don't think I'm that guy just yet. I'm, I'm still young at heart. Nice meeting right, you. Nice to meet you, Michelle. Have so, fun on your other dates. No, I don't think I'd go on another date with Michelle. Next up, Michelle and Grant had invited each other. In the group date, I did have a good connection with Michelle. Uh, we seem to have a lot, a lot in common. Um, do you drink beer? I don't. <laughs> oh, are you serious? Yeah. Oh, well, two for me. I don't drink, so she's like, oh, well, I'll, I'll have both and you can keep both your waters because she doesn't do water. No, I won't drink too. It's all right. No, go for I it. felt a little bit flustered, but there was a million things that I wanted to ask him. So um, what do you look for in a potential girlfriend? Uh, someone that's caring, mm -hmm. that's warm, giving, um, that's family orientated. Mm -hmm. um, so what about you? What do you look for in a male? Um, oh, sorry, a mate. Um, yeah, giving. it has to be giving and they have to like kids because like, I've got a son so okay. um, they have to like kids. Yep. Um, that's kind of why I'm here. Yeah, right. So. Okay, well, yeah, look, I, 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 quite, I quite like kids. A friend of mine's actually just asked me to be... Uh, Godfather of his son. Oh, that's a big plus. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so you know, that's I, good. Yeah, I really judging by Grant's reaction, I thought more highly of him. A bit of fun, so yeah, no, it's good. I, I quite, in, you know, quite enjoy hanging out with kids. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I feel there is a, a genuine chemistry between, between Michelle and I. All right, nice. <laughs> yeah, now I can. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> My date with Grant was great. Um, I don't think it could have got any better. <laughs> I'll see you soon. I would say it probably was one of my best dates that I've been on in a long while. Nice you later. meeting you. Likewise. He's you probably nearly exactly what I'm looking for. I've got the same values, same like morals, except he doesn't drink and I drink. Date number three, and Sherry and Nathan had invited each other. I might be a bit too full on for him. Like, I talk a lot and he really doesn't. But I think we have a lot in common. Hello. Hi. Okay. We, we obviously had a connection in the, in the group date. Um, and I'm a bit excited to, to get to know her more. I'm just sorry. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> it's so, what um, brings you to the show? Yeah, so I guess uh, dating in the light obviously hasn't worked for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you grow up in Australia? Yeah, oh. yeah. Yeah, so... Brand. Yeah, can, can I have a guess? Yes. Um, where, where in South Africa you're from? Yes. Is it, is it Durban? Durban? No. Okay. No, they say fish. No, I'm not from Durban. Okay. You obviously don't know South African culture very well. Ek Vietney. Oh, my God! <laughs> How do you know that? Be careful with those. No. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know that? Um, Turns out he has a South African ex, so we got into the whole South African thing. How long did you date here? Uh, four months. High maintenance? No! No! No, she was lovely. She, was, she, was... she wasn't Jewish, was she? No, no, she wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, that freaks me out. Like, no, that freaks me out. The Jewish thing came up. Like, I'm very proud to be Jewish, but I don't do religion at all. Um... For me to like a girl, I'd like for them to have a spiritual and philosophical perspective on life. I think I'll be exploring that more. Uh, in future dates. Okay. Look, it's really nice speaking no, to you. No, good to meet um, you. Good luck getting out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I hope not to step on you. Oh, no. I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> My date with Nathan went really well. Nathan just seems like a really nice, sweet, genuine guy. 
Okay, you have a good night. Cheers, you too. I definitely meet with Nathan again. 